most basic belief behind Never Again is that there should never again be another massacre in a high school by a school shooter. That's a very simple idea many adults, I think, find naive. At least 17 people are dead in Parkland, Florida on Wednesday. The world saw very quickly that the teenagers of Marjorie Stoneman and Douglas High School were not just gonna accept thoughts and prayers. They weren't gonna accept that kind of consolation. They felt that what had happened to them could have been prevented. Children are dying. I will fight every single day. I just want to speak. We call the These students survived a shooting at their school. Now, they're leading a national movement for stricter gun control. Just days after the shooting, they called for school walkouts around the country, traveled to the Florida State Capitol, you failed us. and planned a nationwide march. Some of them can't even vote yet. It's clear these students are doing things differently. Here's how. Never Again is leveraging social networks to mobilize faster than most movements before it, according to experts who study the rise of social and political movements. One week after the shooting, the Never Again Twitter handle is verified and has more than 81,000 followers. In just a few days, student leaders have crowdsourced more than $3 million through online campaigns and celebrity donations. So I understood that the passion around this issue was bigger than one school. The state legislature in Florida is a very old school place. And these students, with all their passion and all their urgency, were not going to disrupt business as usual. They wanted to have a face-to-face -face conversation where they shared their message that not everybody should be able to buy a military-grade assault weapon. I spoke with many students that felt the same urgency about the need to change national gun laws. We have to ban assault rifles. They were illegal in 2004 and they have to be illegal again. I lost a best friend practically a brother and I'm here to use my voice because I know he can't. These survivors are presenting their personal stories of loss as part of their fight, converting grief into power by getting in the face of adults. So Senator Rubio, can you tell me right now that you will not accept a single donation from the NRA? And the 